What is up, beautiful people of the internet? My name is Amethyst, and you are here watching Amethyst Budgets. I am a low-income cash and online stuffer. I have three pet rats, which are probably going to make an appearance during this video, because um, they are doing their free roam time right now. Uh, so, yes, I'm low-income. I live by myself in a low-income apartment. I am a self-employed person, so I do a lot of delivery driving, and I'm currently trying to get my clothing resale business up off the ground, um, so that is where we're making our income from, and today, vi today's video is going to be a cash stuffing. We have partially online and partially real bills. Um, I did want to address the finger situation, so uh, these are press-on nails from an Etsy shop called Ballerina and Stilettos. Her nails are beautiful. She does custom orders. You can get pretty much whatever you want, just like give her some inspiration, and she makes insane, beautiful designs. Um, and then this one was violently ripped from me. I don't even know how it happened. I was like half asleep and moving around in my bed and I just like landed on it wrong and it was like ripped off which was so painful. It was definitely not ready to come off, but uh, here we are. And then these two are the fingers that I just use the most, and I had a lot of cleaning that I had to do, unfortunately, so the chemicals and stuff kind of wore the glue down. Usually I would just put the nails back on for a video, however, um, I have another set that I want to put on, um, so... I'm just going to let them all fall off. After this video, I might actually just soak them off and put on the new set. Babes, what are you doing? You're going to fall. Come here. Boca. Stop it. Okay, so I wanted to go over some shout outs because I actually remembered this video. <laughs> so I have four beautiful ladies that I wanted to shout out today if I can get to my gallery. So <clears throat> first off, we have Budgeting Just Because. Her name is Chris. She's so, so much fun to watch. If you have not subscribed to her yet, then you definitely have to be. She's trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the week because it is her um, YouTube-versary. So she's been on YouTube for a year. So definitely go shout, uh, give her some love. She only needs 50 more subscribers. If we can get her there, that would be incredible. So uh, go check her out. And my rats are rummaging through things that they're not supposed to be rummaging through. So we have Chris and she is just so much fun to watch. She has such really good advice, especially if you are younger um, She just has some reminders in her videos that oh my goodness I'm having so many distractions right now. I'm so sorry that are just amazing. So definitely check her out um, Then we have shy from mom talks and budgets and she is so so sweet She's just so nice and kind and her comments are amazing and she is just so much fun to talk to and watch her videos. She's very real. She's got a ton of different types of content, um, including like investing. Most of these ladies do investing nowadays. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then we have Jordan Budgets, who again is just super sweet. She's trying to reach 100k uh, subscribers. So if you can go check her out and give her a follow, she's doing one video a day until she hits that one 100k mark. So that is awesome. She's just super fun to watch. She is an Etsy budget no, she's an Etsy shop owner. I don't know why I can't speak. Um, so go check her out as well. Then we have Brittany Budgets, who is so fun to watch, and I don't know how to, she doesn't have a larger subscriber count because her content is incredible. Um, I really just love watching her. She's so much fun, and her vibes are immaculate. So go check out these ladies. They will be in the comment section, so they're really easy to find, and go share some love to their page. So with that said, it is time for the cash stuffing. So we have $360 $60 that we're going to be stuffing. Also, I am in my bedroom, not my office space, so my desk is dirty. I tried cleaning it, but I was too lazy to go and get the cleaner from downstairs. Um, yeah, so that's why. <laughs> so we have 100, and let's, let's adjust a little bit better. So 100, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 160. So if I don't, if I'm not mistaken, oh, Nezuko's coming to say hi. You want some treats? Come on up. Come here. No? This is Nezuko. So the one you saw earlier is Boca. Babes. Right here. Right here. Come here. Right here. Okay, the one you saw earlier was Boca, and that one was Nezuko. She is really sweet as well. Um, she is the troublemaker of the group for sure. So, the ATM unfortunately only had 20s, so I have had to adjust my budget a little bit to accommodate that, but not too much. Before we get started though, there is one thing I'm going to do. If you saw my last video, you know that I have my... Um, 
my car insurance payment coming up and it is quite a lot uh, because I pay every six months. It's actually coming up tomorrow and I need $495 and um, if you have Capital One, you know that the transfers between banks can be really time consuming. My money gets sent to PNC because there it's an ATM based, like, scratch that. There are more ATMs for it. But I keep my savings accounts on Capital One because the interest is amazing and you can have many different savings accounts with them. So I have money online for taxes and I have money online for insurance. I also have cash in both of these envelopes um, because sometimes I just you know, go nuts with it. So, um, what we're gonna do is, basically, I have more money online in my taxes account than I do in my insurance account. And because I'm desperate to get that number by tomorrow, and I don't have the time today to run and do a whole bunch of bank transfers or ATM situations, we are going to take the cash in physical form and put it into my taxes envelope. And then, in bank form, the cash that I took from here, the same amount, from here and put it here. Does that make sense? So this is car insurance. So we have 10, 20, 50. No, 10, 30, 50. <laughs> um, in bank, in cash form. Okay, now in taxes online, I have $50 in that account. So I'm going to take $50 here and swap them. I tried to break it down as much as possible because I, it confused me <laughs> when I was doing this. I was like, wait, how am I supposed to, what's going to happen here? Um, yeah, so we're going to clear out some more space. We got this going on. So, rent is not getting stuffed. It has $200. Um, neither is these. Health insurance is getting $50 in a bill. That charge is automatically getting out of... Take, bleh, getting it taken out of my PNC account tomorrow. It is less than $50, so once that charge comes out, I will be adjusting this folder to reflect what's actually in my bank still. Then we have car insurance, which again is getting taken out tomorrow. It is getting stuffed with $150, which will leave it short by $1 exactly. However, um, Capital One has interest, so the interest will actually cover that dollar. Um, and if it doesn't, then um, I will just transfer a dollar from the other account. And I have a tiny buffer on Capital One as well, which I can also use. So, currently it has one, two, three, four hundred, four, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, four. And I already adjusted the tracker because I actually s <laughs> I actually already filmed this video um, and I forgot to erase my updates. Um, but I had to restart it because I was rambling so bad and like you I you couldn't follow. I promise you you would not have been able to follow. So now we're getting into my pink account and we're going to tax sales, which is getting stuffed with a hundred dollars. Two, three, four, five. So, um, I'm going to put that here, and I literally hate when there are 50s, so I'm going to change that out for two 20s and a 10. Okay, so now, taxes has 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 200, so 300. 320, 40, 60, 80, 400, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 500, 20, 11, which is, yeah, 531, 531, okay, perfect, and then we have $40 left over, which was supposed to stay in my bank account, actually, not yet. I'm jumping ahead. We're going to medical. I have a cavity that needs to be filled on Monday, and I believe the charge is two. I mean, one sixteen, um, but it might be one sixty. So I have to find out. I now have sixty dollars in here. Hopefully, it's one sixteen, because obviously that's cheaper, and we we like cheaper things. So um, my insurance didn't cover it all the way, even though I have dental insurance, so what I'm going to do is actually cancel my dental insurance, because at this point, it's just not worth it. I'm paying $40 a month for this dental insurance, and I have 
bad teeth like I have cavities every time I go it actually runs in the family so um it's just not worth it for me because if it's only co it only covers 20% of a cavity filling which is ridiculous to me um so I'm gonna get rid of my dental insurance I might look around for other ones but at this point it would probably be cheaper for me to just take that $40 and put it away in my medical fund for when I get a cavity so yeah that's that's where we're at with this this is going back into the bank so we're gonna set that to the side and go into my savings challenge so I have a savings challenge that I sell on my Etsy shop it is a 52 card savings challenge it's basically these cards here and you can fill them up with these bits of money so I'm gonna hope for a small amount today <laughs> that is a small amount the cash that I have right here is money that I have back a couple months ago I was taking like 10% of each paycheck and putting it into singles um, and any type of cash tip that I ever get gets put straight into this pink envelope that you see here um, for the specifically saving challenges eventually I want to get back into doing that for right now as you can tell um, I'm low income like for real like I, I I'm struggling with my bills last month I couldn't make bills so I actually restarted this month um, and so this is a low income challenge which is great for me and you can make it higher if you want you can like double up the amounts and stuff um, so I'm just I'm just basically continuously using the money that I had uh, saved up the, a couple months back I'm still using that and eventually I want to you know start replenishing this so that I can do more savings challenges because oh what are the odds I keep seeing all of these really cute savings challenge binders and I really want to do that plus savings challenges can be used for bills so I really want to um, I really want to do some more savings challenges the goal is to get out of the tax bracket. I think I said that in the beginning of the video. So hopefully I can start making some more money and actually do more. Saving challenges, make more money, um, be more comfortable, and not be worrying about having to restart every other month. So that's where we're at. I actually did have one thing I wanted to say. So I am hosting a giveaway right now. So I haven't announced it yet, but it is basically for five um five cash slips of whatever amount you want so i have 100s 500s and 1000s um if i i haven't gotten any orders for two or three k but if someone wanted to order that then you can let me know and i will figure out a way to do that basically whatever characters you want so in order to enter the giveaway down below just use hashtag giveaway um in your comment it doesn't you can just comment hashtag giveaway if you want um or leave your regular comment and just Add the hashtag to it um, usually I do emojis but this time we're gonna switch it up and see how it goes so the giveaway will end next Wednesday so today is the 18th like I said next Wednesday is is the 25th so I will announce the giveaway winner and then I will figure out a way to contact you um, and then get these to you so I'll put all of the rules in the description box below just to make it a little bit clearer for you guys um, but yeah thank you guys so much I really appreciate all of you um, I'm so grateful that I have the subscribers to even do like a giveaway like that's just so amazing to me that I am living this life like that's crazy I might be stressed but I'm also blessed so <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching today's video and of course like always I will see you in the next one bye